In the aftermath of World War I, civil unrest was commonplace in Germany. Many other groups emerged at this time, attempting to gain a following and an influence on the German political scene. One such group was the infamous Freikorps. The Freikorps were the most notable paramilitary group from this time and were heavily influential than most, as the Weimar government relied on the Freikorps to squash rebellions that sprang up in the chaos of post-war Germany. The group mainly consisted of former World War I veterans with estimates of up to 50,000 active members and was predominantly right-wing leaning. They crushed communist uprisings such as the Spartacist Uprising and the Declaration of Independence by the Bavarian Soviet Republic, both in 1919. The group had even turned on the Weimar government when a unit of the group had taken over Berlin, establishing a brief government in what became known as the Kapp Putsch the following year. The head of the Weimar government, Frederick Ebert, eventually forced the Freikorps to disband in 1920, with many of its members becoming increasingly disillusioned with the unstable Weimar government. By 1921, a small minority of Freikorps militants remained. A majority of former members of the Freikorps later joined the NSDAP, also known as the National Socialist Party, and took part in street brawls and the like. 